Here's Alexander Lilholt, the captain of Floaty Boat. And I'm about to be getting off of here. If you're wondering what that noise is, that would be this place right over here. It's like some junkyard trash heap or something. I'm not a huge fan of it. It's really loud and they're just craning trash. And when it's not windy at all, you can really hear it. So what I'm gonna do in this video is show you how to cook breakfast on floaty boat and how to get off the boat because this is the last video I'm doing out here for today because that trash heap smashing stuff I know you hear that. It's not that quiet. Okay, so I've got a couple cube steaks, floaty boat favorite, and I've got some maple bourbon seasoning. Oh yeah. I already got the grill lit, which is right behind me here. Grill is fired up. Open that up. way to season just toss it right in the bag and then stir it around so that's what I'm gonna do right, so I got a good amount of seasoning in there close that up and just it all over there. It smells good. Not your typical breakfast, but nothing's typical out here on floaty boat. So some spots might be more maple bourbony than others, but it's a little steak. So it's a little it's a cube steak if you've never seen it. I don't know if you can see the it goes through a Swiss, Swisser, I think it is, and it chops the meat into like little lines, look like cubes. Closing that grill up. Okay, so okay, so now I'm going to uh, basically get ready to get off the boat, and I have an acronym KG Switch. That's keys, which I saw on the floor here of the deck, which I probably would have forgotten. Keys, garbage. Have that down below. I just keep that in a bucket right over here. And I try not to make a habit of closing up the uh, garbage getting off because you know you might see something else that needs to go in the old bag okay s that's the swim ladder i wasn't swimming that swim ladder is in the up position wallet i already put that into the uh, pelican 1060 dry box put a link in the description to that pelican 1060 um inverter that is actually charging up Bat that's right, charging batteries off the batteries, but that's actually running right now. And might want to stop that soon. I don't want to totally kill the battery. It's also not a particularly sunny day. It's a bright day, but not that sunny. So I don't know how that solar panel's doing. Wow, that's like echoing off the shore over here. So trash dump. 
I think I'm going to move to the other end of the mooring field. Maybe that'll get me a little further away from the old trash dump. <laughs> it's, they're not always doing that, but when they do it, it's really loud. And I'm not in love with that noise of crunching metal and beeping trash dump machinery. <laughs> um, so inverter tiller. Um, that actually looks like that does need to get tightened up. Tiller is locked in place now. My cell phone, it's recording this video, so I'll put that in the Pelican 1060 after this. The um, last thing is the hatches, and I didn't open the front hatch, so I'll close this one. And um, after I'm done putting away the, uh, the propane canister, not hatch, I'll close that one up, lock it, and then we're good to go. So, let's see how these... It's hot. They look like they're getting pretty close. So, when I light the grill, I use an arc lighter, and it's just like a little... Tiny little taser. You can hear it. This one has a little flashlight. So I usually turn that off and then I clip that right here. A lot of times I bring this up beforehand, which is a plate to serve, a fork and knife. A lot of times I'll eat fresco here, which I guess why not, actually I'll tell you why not, because I don't feel like listening to that, uh, that trash heap, this place down below, I need to bring back this uh, little propane canister that I used to heat the boat. So when I'm sitting out on the, when I have my table out here, I usually like to use this uh, silicon mat to keep the plate from sliding around. And those are almost done. If you look back here at the, the table here, I've got uh, the grill, I've got lights to shine on the grill. A lot of the stuff that I use out here, I try to keep within reach in the baskets that are right here so I don't have to climb in and out of the cabin, but certain things like the plates and things like that, I like to keep tucked away. I think I'll have a V8 Energy Pomegranate Blueberry drink. I'll actually see if I can put a link in the description of these because they're awesome. And those are nice and cold from this cooler shock pack. You can see this is still, look, I'm squeezing it. That's an ice block. I brought that out yesterday. Looks like I've got a couple cheeses if I want them. Uh, it's cranberry and orange peel. And a, uh, looks like a mozzarella, a little string cheese. That, that's particularly loud today over there. A lot of crashing.
too many boats. I see one coming up, but I haven't really seen too many. We're getting towards the end of the season here, so a lot of people not out on their boats. And personally, I think the weather is really nice, so why wouldn't you be? bourbon looks like it's kind of uh, dripping off a little bit. Might have some sugar in it. Take you down below. You can see the table there that is um, basically going to be the the dining table for, for breakfast because I would normally take out the table but all the beeping and crashing it's just it's a lot of beeping and crashing. It's funny, if you look like over here, it's all like nature and quiet looking houses. And then beeping and crashing. Welcome to Pennsylvania, the beeping and crashing capital of the world. And sometimes weird smells. I think they waft. I think they waft over here. Yeah. I don't like the. Uh, Fish just jumped. Yeah, I don't like the beeping and crashing. This is why I didn't tie this bag up yet. I still had a little bit to put in there. Ooh, here's a big wake coming in. Look at that. We're about to be rocking. We didn't rock that much from that because that wake hit us directly broadside. And when that happens, we don't get the wake that much. Now I'm going to turn off the gas here. Close that up. Actually, smell really good. Disconnect that gas when I come back out, but I'll show you down where I'm about to eat. So if you didn't see this, there's a little table that folds down from here. Also put some ram mounts there, so. Oh. <sighs> that battery's still charging, which. Yeah, we'll see about that. Got the battery chargers everywhere. It looks like looks like that one did get some some charging. So essentially, this is the dining room table, the office, and the movie theater all rolled into one. Got the old water jug. These smell actually really good. The maple bourbon. Normally sweet steaks wouldn't be my first go-to, but in the morning, maple. A lot of people have maple sausages, but doing some maple cube steaks. Let me see how they are.
Those are good. That's a good breakfast. Now, uh, when I get finished eating here, I don't do dishes with water. I use uh, a paper towel and then an alcohol prep pad. So I wipe down the plate. I think I've made, well, I know I've made a video of this. I think I um, maybe more than one where I have a link to this, but I'll try to put a link in the description to these uh, there by Winner. I can't find it. Winner have the biggest alcohol prep pads and they really uh, disinfect the plates. So the physical part of the cleaning, paper towels, this will wrap up the job. And I think that's it for the video because I wanna eat while it's hot. Oh yeah.